Hey, Popcorn Kid crew. You guys, we have another story to dedicate. Today, we're going to dedicate Little Red Riding Hood to Melanie and Genesis. Melanie and Genesis are friends that I met on YouTube, and they enjoy reading stories when they're going to bed. So this is going to be a special bedtime dedication to you, Genesis and Melanie. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, you guys, did you say I am the greatest today? Let Miss V hear you. I am the greatest. There you go. Good job. Because you know what? You are the greatest. And your parents love you so much. Hey, you guys, I hope you enjoy this story. It's a fun story. You ready? Okay, let's go. Little Red Riding Hood. There was once a sweet and happy little girl whose granny had made her a lovely red cape with a hood. The little girl loved it so much she wore it everywhere she went. Soon everyone became so used to her wearing it, they called her Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, said her mother one morning, Granny is not feeling very well. Take her this basket of food and see if you can cheer her up. Little Red Riding Hood loved to visit her granny. She took the basket of food and set off right away. Go straight to granny's house and do not talk to any strangers. Her mother called after her. Don't talk to any strangers, Little Red Riding Hood. Don't worry, sang Little Red Riding Hood as she went merrily on her way. Little Red Riding Hood skipped off through the woods. The sun was shining and the birds were chirping in the treetops. She didn't have a care in the world. Very soon, she met a wolf. Well, hello there, said the wolf in a silky low voice. And where are you off to on this fine morning? I'm going to visit my granny, replied Little Red Riding Hood, forgetting her mother's warning. She's feeling unwell, and I'm taking her this food to make her better. The wolf licked his lips. Where does your dear old granny live? asked the wolf. She lives in a cottage on the other side of the woods, replied Little Red Riding Hood. It has pretty roses growing around the door. Is that so, said the wolf. Why, it sounds lovely. Little Red Riding Hood, you got, did she do what her mother told her to do? Her mother's, where was it? Go straight to Granny's house. Don't talk to any strangers. Her mother called after her. She little red, don't worry. Okay. You all, have you read this story before? Y'all, what's gonna happen? Let's read and find out. Oh. There were some beautiful wildflowers growing in the woods. And Little Red Riding Hood stopped to admire them. 
Why don't you pick a pretty posy for your granny? Suggested the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood thought that would be a good idea and stooped down to pick some. As she was busy choosing the prettiest flowers, the wolf strolled away down the path. His tummy rumbled loudly. Y'all, what happens when your tummy is rumbling? Does that mean you're hungry? At the end of the path, he saw a cottage with roses growing around the door, just like Little Red Riding Hood had told him. <gasps> uh oh, I'm nervous now. Here we go. The wicked old wolf knocked on the door Come right in, my darling, called the grandmother, thinking that it was Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf walked into the cottage, and before grandmother had a chance to call for help, the wicked creature opened his huge jaws and swallowed her whole. Then he climbed into her bed, pulled the covers under his chin, and waited. What's he waiting for, y'all? What's he waiting for? <gasps> Soon, Little Red Riding Hood reached her granny's house with her basket of food and beautiful bunch of wildflowers. Oh, no! Won't Granny be happy to see me? She thought as she knocked on the door. Come right in, my darling, replied a strange croaky voice. Poor Granny, thought Little Red Riding Hood. She doesn't sound well at all. Little Red Riding Hood looked in the kitchen, but her granny wasn't there. She looked in the living room, but her granny wasn't there either. Finally, she went into her granny's bedroom and she gasped <gasps> in surprise. What's he doing sitting in? What's he doing, guys? Granny! exclaimed Little Red Riding Hood. Your ears are absolutely enormous. All the better to hear you with, my dear, replied a low, silky voice. And your eyes are big as saucers, gulped Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, replied the rumbling growling voice and your teeth are so pointy gasped little red riding hood all the better to eat you with the wicked old wolf leaped out of the bed and gobbled up Little Red Riding Hood in one big gulp. Then he lay down on the bed and fell asleep. 
Luckily, a woodcutter was working nearby and he heard some very loud, growling, snoring sounds coming from the little cottage. I don't like the sounds of that, he thought. With his axe ready, he crept into the grandmother's house and he tiptoed into the bedroom and found the wolf fast asleep. <gasps> Melanie and Genesis, are you asleep or are you listening? You listening, Melanie? How about you, Genesis? All right. Yes, he tiptoed and he found the wolf, what? Fast asleep and with his tummy bulging, fit to burst. Why is the wolf's tummy so big? Why is it bulging, guys? You wicked old wolf, cried the woodcutter. What have you done? He tipped toed over to the wolf and he tipped the wolf upside down and shook him as hard as he could. Out fell a dazed little red riding hood followed by her poor old granny. It was so dark in there cried little the little girl. Thank you for saving us. But Little Red Riding Hood's granny was furious. She chased the wolf out of the bedroom, through the cottage, and out into the woods. You go, granny. The woodcutter and Little Red Riding Hood followed behind and chased him too. The wolf never returned and Little Red Riding Hood never spoke to strangers ever again. The end. You all, this is from A Treasury of Five Minute Stories. This is a fun book. Melanie and Genesis did you enjoy this story? I hope you did. Let Miss V know if you enjoyed the story. Well, as always, I'm gonna give you a hug and I wish you peace and love and a kiss. See you soon, guys. Take care, Melanie and Genesis.